Hello and welcome to Apex 2021 Virtual Exposition. My name is Chip King and I'm here live with you this week from Fuji America Corporation's Technology Center. Today we're going to take some time to introduce to you the Fuji NXT replacement platform. This, is the, this system is the industry's only true modular placement system out there. Modularity brought to you from the base down to the module and every component internal to the system itself. The uniqueness of this placement platform is not only its speed and accuracy and modular technology, but its ease of use interface. As you can see from the monitor, all the activity that the operators are going to incur with this placement system are icon picture driven based solutions. Very simple for any operator to understand and easily navigate to achieve any task that they might need. The system itself has a component placement capability of 0201 metric, that's 025 by 0125s, all the way up to a 74 millimeter squared component up to one and a half inches tall, 38.1 millimeters. That component range is consistent with the majority of the marketplace and it has a board handling size of a 21 by 24 inch board handling system. The base platform system comes with a base system a four module is what you see here or a two module which is half of this base. The modules themselves for the placement processes come in two varieties. A 300 millimeter wide module or a 600 millimeter wide module. These are all based on supporting that 21 by 24 inch PCB size available to you today. When we go into the larger boards the M3s will work together in unison as a joint machine paired together producing that board so we can accomplish that large board handling requirement as well. Furthermore, you can even pair the MIM-6s together to get, achieve and get up to that 42 inch uh, long board handling capability as well. So a lot of flexibility built into such a small modular placement platform. One of the other very unique aspects of this system that separates it from everything else out there on the marketplace is its unique head technologies. The heads we utilize today are very small and modular unlike anything of the legacy platforms. This for example is our H24 placement head, very lightweight, only two pounds. Easily can be changed and reconfigured for, by the operators for production needs and or more importantly the main focus is for taking all those maintenance practices offline. By doing that we ensure your production line is still building product and making money for you while your maintenance team is addressing all those maintenance requirements in an offline manner keeping your productivity high. For instance, let's take a look inside this machine today. As you can see from the interface, very easy uh, pictorially driven uh, access points. If you want to clean the machine, very simple, you look for the vacuum cleaner to open and access the machine. If we're going to do a head exchange for retooling or reconfiguration or most importantly that offline maintenance practice, this is the process we would access to go through that. Simple touch of the mechanical wrench. We're going to do the exchange function. We're going to do a head exchange and we're going to execute the start function. What the machine is going to do now is park in place with all those nozzles for you and position a head so that the maintenance or operator staff can access that head easily. While we wait for that, everything inside this process you're going to see is toolless. The operators can do this for you without any requirement for tools. So it's very simple and easy for anybody in your operation to uh, take care of this type of task for you. As the machine concludes its preparation, it's parked in position and we will get ready to see the next uh, menu pop up. And as you can see, the tasks at hand for the operators are very well managed and guided for the interaction. As the machine positions itself, you can see here that there's three icons indicating the, the activity that's going to occur. The first one is to extend the module. Simply by touching the button you can see the module extend out. Now one of the other unique aspects of this placement platform is not only the modular concept but its accessibility. As you can see as we extend this module forward we have complete access to both sides of this placement system. So you can gain easy access to get to anything. Go ahead and switch cameras. If we take a look inside the machine, as you can see the placement head is nicely parked and positioned where it can be easily accessed by your operators. It's a very simple operation. There's only two connectors to disconnect the power and the communications. Once that process is complete, you lift the attachment lever 
and extend it over to the left, releasing the placement head. As you can see, the placement head is now easily removed. So, very simple, lightweight, easily accessible. Now this process head can actually be taken offline for that maintenance practice. Your maintenance team or operator will then bring the new placement head over and reintroduce this to the machine. Now again, there are no tools required to do this process, as you can see here. It's very simple and easy. The head is now easily locked in position and the connectors can be reattached. At this point, the machine is now ready to go back into production. More importantly, as you can see from the menu here, as you complete a task, those completed tasks disappear from the monitor, keeping the operator focused at the tasks at hand. From here, it's just indicating to please extend the module back onto the base so they can be clamped in position. So we'll easily slippily slide this back. Flagging the sensor, the machine will then take over and lock the module in position. After you've done this task, the operator simply goes back to the production icon and returns the machine to production. From this point, the machine will then identify the serial number of this placement head and grab all required jigs for doing its calibration routine necessary to start production. Once the, uh, the BIM file or calibration file has been established to the ba machine base when we do these head exchanges, this calibration process is less than a minute. So you can be back up and in production between uh, head maintenance routine switches very fast. As you can also see, other aspects of the machine that make it very unique on top of its accessibility is the ease of interaction with the nozzle nests. By simply extending these modules forward, your operator has complete access to come in and easily remove a nozzle nest. That simple. This facilitates offline maintenance from the aspect of not only just your changeovers, but to facilitate those nozzle cleaning processes through the automation tools. Now your operator is handling your nozzle nests, not the nozzle itself. Contamination from the human uh, element. Very simple, easy accessibility for everything you might need to gain within the machine itself. Also, one other main uh, important feature is the technology of the feeders that we deploy here at Fuji. These feeders are a single source, one-to-one -one relationship for your component part number loading. One simple 8 millimeter feeder for both paper and plastic. We incorporate splice, de uh, splice detection sensors on the machine ready for your use as needed. Also, tension sensors for monitoring and maintaining that cover tape uh, tension over that pickup point. Every feeder comes with a fiducial recognition mark for high precision alignment for those microscopic components, the 025, 0125 components and, and smaller, as well as the uh, ability to only expose one component at the point of pickup. That ensures you, when you restock these materials back to your storage facility, that you're not waiting using those components, further expanding and improving your operational efficiencies. The placement platform itself is a 25 micron system. It's operating in the range of 10 to 12 microns in a production environment, so you're going to be able to afford and realize high precision placement capabilities. Everything from die handling through your largest odd form components. We hope you enjoyed today's live presentation. And for those of you that would like to dig in deeper and get a better view and more in-depth detail of what this system can actually bring to your manufacturing needs, please reach out to our sales reps and set up a more detailed live presentation or one-on-one -on -one demonstration for you with Fuji team. We look forward to seeing you soon. Please do enjoy the show. Be sure to stick around and stick the clock as well out this week and look forward to seeing you again later today. Have a great day and enjoy the show guys.